Hi, welcome to No Second Season. This edit is going to be a catch up on the cargo frame slash stroke bed I put in the back of my Pajero. So tonight is going to be the first night I'm sleeping in it. I don't know if I'm actually allowed to sleep here, but it doesn't say no camping, so I'm going to. And it's not camping anyway, is it? Because it's not a tent. Um, so I'm, I've come up north near Sydney surfing. I've got my Aldi cheapo self-inflating airbed. I've got um, a sleeping bag liner and a sleeping bag. So, oh, and a pillow. So I shall let you know how it goes. If it collapses in the night, <laughs> I'm going to be right cheesed off. But uh, fingers crossed, it's going to be a good one. Now, so far, I've done over 3,000 kilometres with the car loaded up. Two bikes, surfboard, 100 litre bag with mountain biking gear, 100 litre bag with surfing slash beach gear and all the other paraphernalia that I need to take with me. And uh, the frame is absolutely fine. So sleeping on it is going to be the last test I'll be doing and I shall let you know how it goes. Hi, so I've moved my camping spot. I've moved into the town. I know I'm not allowed to camp here, um, but I didn't feel safe where I was. Um, it was out of the way a bit. Two cars pulled in, four people got out of each. Um, and then there was a load of chitter chatter and then they cleared off. But um, I don't know, just didn't feel good about it. So I've moved into the town. I'll probably get moved on, um, but we'll see how that goes. But this is my first night sleeping in Badge Patch. Hopefully uh, I won't get moved on and I'll get a good night's sleep and get surfing nice and early. Uh, that would be good. Nighty night. one in the morning someone has a fireworks display just across the bay as either from a boat or right on the other side of the seven mile beach um, it's finished now but it went on for ages it was quite pretty hi morning um, had a reasonably good sleep in Madge Padge so how was Madge Padge to sleep in really good actually bed is nice and wide so you can sort of roll about a bit um, obviously it's hard I've got an airbed on it I might even next time put my Z-Lite airbed under it it wasn't too hard but it would make it a bit softer um, yeah absolutely great to sleep on climbing from the bed into the driver's seat very easy so all good nothing's broken it didn't budge at all there was no problems with it so really pleased with that so if you're thinking of doing this just bear in mind I'm 60 kilos um, if you're 120 you may need to put some more strengthening in it so if I was going to do it again I'd put one big piece of wood on it not two smaller bits um, it will strengthen it up and it'll make it easier to move it in and out of the car but yeah all good so now I know it's good I will update my website I'll list there the sizes uh, of the aluminium and also the joiners I use if this was useful to you it'd be great if you gave me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed perhaps you'd think about subscribing as well that would be great and so from me until next time it's a over and out bye for now